Hey guys, right now if we want to change the size of our screen, so as you can see, it's not looking good. So in this video, we are going to learn how to add media query to add responsiveness to our site. So in our login.css file, so here's an example um, script or CSS code. So if we refresh, change the size. So once it hits the 600 px, as you can see, the background changes. Um, so let's just set to none. So if I refresh, as you can see, the elements, HTML elements, are hidden. So now, um, here we have different endpoints, but glad thing they have this typical or the usual device breakpoints so we're going to use them so here let's try so for our mobile page or mobile devices so as you can see once it hits less than 600 px we'll add this code so for the login button I um, think it would be better if will make this one a nice button so let's add style um, background to white and then the color let's uh, make this one pink and make a border radius of um, 4px so now here let's refresh so as you can see it is reflected um, so the header let's add some padding so let's adjust so this one looks good uh, it doesn't work let's add important to the styles and then the padding now as you can see other buttons are using the CSS so let's add a class to that login button and as you can see it's now looking good so let's add more margin top and bottom so now next is let's style this banner so first thing we need to do here is let's add the or adjust the padding so let's use 10px and then the left and right let's use 35px so let's use that one and then in our style sheet let's add that style so let's see so as you can see padding works great looks good in our banner um, element so next thing is the banner icon so I think here we'll just need to remove this huge margin um, so let's try that one fresh so let's see as you can see it's looking good <coughs> And then also the height of our banner, let's adjust that one to 69VH. So as you can see here, it looks good. We change size. So next thing we need to do is the features page or sections. So Let's adjust the padding, make it smaller. And then, so as you can see, we have the padding. And then here, um, I think it's a good thing we'll make them 100% so it stays in one row. So it doesn't work. Mm -hmm. Let's see. I'm 
Okay, so I think hmm, display block that still doesn't work. So okay, so this one on our homepage features class, we'll remove this. As you can see, it is now set to hundred percent. So let's see. Up so, but the percentage we need to change it on two hundred percent. So we'll add it to this class and set the width to hundred percent. Refresh. Now let's see. So once it hit six hundred, it will use a hundred percent row. So this looks good already. Now let's move on to this section, uh, our opt-in form and a video. So let's adjust the padding, and then let's copy and paste the style to our CSS file. Then next is the video. Uh -huh. So suggest more padding to the container. Then here, so we have email form where we put the action or the form. Um, right now it's using forty percent. Um, hmm. so I think it would be better if we'll just use a hundred percent or both maybe or yeah um so I do two px but it doesn't look good so I guess we'll just make them hundred percent so they both stays in one row or the form in one row and the video in the next row so here um let's do hundred percent on that one then let's check the container so here let's remove this display flex first so let's update the style that css use a black let's refresh then here oops as you can see it's now uh, another row so here let's set the width to 100 percent and the margin top to 15 px so this is for the video so next is this the email form set hundred percent. So as you can see, it is now looking good. So for the video, let's just set the height maybe uh, two hundred px or that one. 270 and uh, sorry uh, it should be inside the video class so as you can see this looks good so next is this one so here on the socials I think we'll just update the width of this href or the icons 40 percent i mean 40 px so uh, look at that so uh, it's looking good and then same thing with the home page for the contact links let's adjust the margin and i think let's can also adjust the font size so that one then the margin 8px so let's refresh so as you can see this looks good for a mobile device so look at that 
so next is we have this for our large phones or tablets so other of these endpoints i think we can discuss in this video since right now our design is looking good for larger devices so here um, for 600px max let's just add a padding for our banner uh, so let's add that one to our style sheet now uh, looks good on um, so this one the notified the thirty padding so the features it's already looking good so we don't need to update our one uh see so other sections looks good already so we don't need to update so as you can see here it is now looking good one more thing uh, to make this work is we'll add this to our head tag and then let's try so it is now working on small devices